my first car. I had it for over 20 years. Loved it. But unfortunately, I wasn't driving it a whole lot. I told everybody I was going to keep it, never sell it. So what did it take to finally sell this? Well, it took the opportunity to have my own plane. So I spiffed up the Camaro, got it ready for sale, put it on Craigslist, and I sold it. We're heading home now. I just uh, did a Craigslist run, found a little hot tent trailer <clears throat> where they had taken off old camper. So it's just a flatbed for 50 bucks. Thanks Craigslist. So we're gonna use that to pull this, tr this uh, plane home. Got a couple mods to do to it. It's uh, not quite the footprint I need, so I'm gonna have to extend it a little bit. But... So I'm leaving tomorrow. I got a bunch of stuff to do on this trailer. So here's how I got it. It's got the, the rear end on it. It was a Coleman pop tent trailer, um, and it still has the step. Everything else has been removed. Uh, so basically I gotta take all this off, uh, build up a little structure to hold hold these lights on. The plane's gonna stick out several feet beyond, so I gotta have the, the lights be able to kind of kick back farther if I need them to. here. Got to figure out which, uh, I think this is the entrance right here. Oh, that's cool. The old DC something or other. Well, we're finally leaving the seller's hangar. We spent about four hours there or so, uh, just checking out the parts that he had. He's got a, he's got one of these BD4s that's got the wings off, doing some work on it. So I got to take a look at that, see how the planes are put together. Uh, really strong construction on this plane. What he had it at the hangar was uh, some the wingtips and the horizontal stabilizer and a couple other parts. Lots of stuff. My car is full. His car is full. Uh, I'm not sure how I'm going to get all this home. So we'll just have to see. Now we're off to go see the plane. So there's here's the main thing. We haven't even seen it yet. So what an adventure. So here she is. Who's her... she? Who's this other woman you're talking about? <laughs> I don't know, we haven't named it. We haven't named her yet, so. Why is it a her? I don't know. I don't see anything feminine about this machine. Is there a color that would make it more feminine? No. Although I dare you to paint it hot pink or or um, Avon pink. <laughs> yeah. How long did you spend uh, getting this thing on the trailer? Well, rumor has it you were up till 2, 2.30 working on it, so you could have, must have been longer than three hours. Maybe it was longer, yep. Probably was like six hours, because you had to build the a, a thing, which is that thing that you had to build. Dun -na 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 na 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 duct tape! That is actually not holding on anything right now, so can't get too much heck for it. The new BD owner. Wiedersehen! It's time for a game of musical tires! So what happened here? The trailer came with three tires and the two that were on it looks pretty good. Used them all the way up and a third of the way back. And so I put the spare tire on, which looked like a lot fresher tire, and drove 50 miles or so, and then the tread started coming off. Yep. There's the treads Whoa. coming off. So we're gonna put the other tire back on because it went all the way up there and did all right. Maybe we'll get this one replaced. Several times on the trip, coming home, looking up in the sky, big white puffy clouds, just imagining myself up there, 12,000 feet flying above everything. That's the way to travel. Looking forward to that. So, 
here she is. She's home. I have to pinch myself every morning, come out and look at it, because I'm just kind of in disbelief. But yeah, she's here. This is going to be the resting spot for the next, uh, well, we'll see how long it takes me to finish. But um, I'm going to put a shelter up over it, keep the sun and elements off her, and this is where I'm going to work on it. So you're probably wondering, what is this plane? Which model is this? This is a BD-4 designed by Jim Beattie. You can search that on Google. Got quite a few interesting designs. And uh, so anyway, this is one of the, I think this is one of the first kits that he made. And apparently this is one of the first actual... Um, experimental kits just made in, in the US in general. This is an experimental aircraft. It means that just anybody can put it together. Um, you don't have to have a special uh, airframe power patent license, you know, any any special FAA credentials. Um, but there are some kind of restrictions and stuff that go along with it. So I'll be covering all that in future videos. So this plane is, uh, it's a four-seater. The back seats are a little bit tight, but um, based on the, the useful load with this plane, you know, you could fit four adults in there and a little bit of fuel if you really wanted to. Um, I'm planning on putting a Lycoming O360 engine on it. So it's about a, between 160 and 180 horsepower engine. Um, it's actually, that's a good size uh, engine for an aircraft this size. Um, it's sort of like a smaller, smaller lightweight uh, four-seater aircraft. Um, so it should have some good performance. Uh, people that have really worked on the streamlining of these aircraft have been able to get them, um, you know, to cruise at around 180. Um, you know, if you put a big engine on it, you can even go 200 miles an hour. So that's one of the things I like about this plane is it had uh, some, some good stats to it. It can go pretty fast. Um, if you throttle back, it can still be fairly fuel efficient. Uh, as you, as you kind of notice on this plane, it's actually got a pretty square boxy construction. So some people are really surprised at uh, how, how well it can do, how efficient an aircraft it is. Um, so that's one of the things I liked about it. So why did I buy this plane? Well, if you guys have been following my videos uh, for the past several months, you would have seen that I've been working on some designs uh, that I intended to use to build my own aircraft that I could sit in and fly. And I still intend to do that. Um, but I really was looking for a way, what's the quickest, most affordable, safe way to get in the air. And I decided it was to get get a kit like this, a kit that's already been designed, this kit's been around for a long time, and they've actually got some pretty good stats in terms of safety um, as far as experimental aircraft go. So buying a kit like this, and this one is, you know, it's not finished yet, but it's got a lot of the work already done, um, was kind of the quickest, safest, uh, most affordable way to get in the air quickly. And so that's what I want to do. I want to go fly. So you can follow along the whole process as I finish this aircraft, get it airworthy, uh, put the engine on. I'm going to show you how to do that. Uh, it's going to be a really fun video series, really interesting, I think, for you guys. And I think you're all going to be interested in it. You know, with Mikey's RC, I showed you how to, to build and fly affordable RC aircraft. And now I want to do that with real aircraft. Because when we're flying our RC aircraft, I really think that a lot of us are sort of envisioning ourselves sitting in that cockpit flying around. We all really want to get that flying experience. I do too. And so I want to see if I can help you guys get in the air yourselves and I know that you know money is tight for a lot of people and so that's what I'm planning on doing here. I'm going to document an affordable way to get into the air. So currently I plan on posting these videos on Mikey's RC because I think it's relevant and that's what I'm doing right now. Uh, you guys ask, hey, when are you going to build your next scratch aircraft? Well, here it is right here. Um, but if you're interested and I would really appreciate it if you go over to my new YouTube channel and subscribe over there, it's called What's Will Doing? And so I'm going to be posting all these videos over there. And, uh, you know, if I, if I get enough momentum, I'd like to eventually just be posting these videos over there. So the more subscribers I get on that channel, um, the fewer, fewer videos I'll have to post on Mikey's RC. You know, if there's anyone who doesn't like uh, seeing this kind of thing on an RC channel.